What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own WWE action figure merchandise stand. Alright guys, so before we get started, I do want to apologize. My dog broke my tripod. As you can see right here, the thing disconnected and it's a piece of garbage. I tried to reconnect it like you see pieces are falling off and you guys can see it's already held together with duct tape and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, so uh, we're just going to have to roll this thing with handheld camera today, and I hope that's not a big deal. But as you can see, guys, we do have a WWE action figure merchandise stand. This probably took me 30 to 45 minutes or so to throw together for you guys. And I just had the idea randomly like last night, and it hit me in the skull, and I was like, holy shit, that would be amazing to create this. So... Today I got up and I went ahead and put it all together instead of putting it together last night. And here it is in fruition and I can take you guys through it and then I'm going to show you guys how you can make one by yourselves. So as you see, we're going to start over on this side. So on the right side we do have Roman Reigns and AJ Styles replica vest. You guys know if you go to a WWE event, you can actually get these on WWEshop.com right now. They do have the AJ Styles vest and Roman Reigns vest for you to purchase. I don't know the exact price of them, but I'm pretty sure these are, they do exist. I remember seeing them before. If we come down the line, you guys will see we do have our own Money in the Bank briefcases. We have the men's version, we have the women's version, and we have a little miniature replica version. I don't know if they make a mini Money in the Bank briefcase, or do they have like a lunchbox version, lunchbox, or do they have like a lunchbox version? But anyways, there's our replica money in the banks, and I actually forgot, if you take a look right here, you guys will see why is Egghead Finn Balor modeling this Finn Balor headdress and armbands? Well, I figured, you know, throw a mannequin back there, I guess he's just act acting. Why the hell are you saying it like that, you jackass? He's putting the headdress and the little arm things on, you know, display on model so people can purchase it. You know, they'll see what it looks like and they'll want to purchase it. So I thought that would be a cool idea just to have Finn Balor modeling his headdress and little arm thingies. And we come back to the corner, guys. You will see right here we have our replica championships. We have the WWE Championship replica. We have the Raw Women's Championship replica. And then we have our little mini replicas. I don't know if you guys have ever been on WWEshop.com, but they do have mini replica championship belts. And these are actually... From from the Loyal Subjects figures, and I figured what a genius idea right here to throw them up here, and they look like the little mini replicas you can buy on WWEshop.com, and you can buy them at merchandise stands. I've seen them before when I've went to WWE events, so I thought that'd be pretty cool right there. So that is our right side. You got the vest, the Money in the Bank briefcases, and you got the title belts at the front corner. If we come just to the left, we will be at the Jeff Hardy merch spot, and you guys can see you can buy his towel or a replica Jeff Hardy towel. You can buy a Jeff Hardy t-shirt, and I know it, it looks like we've ripped off Jeff Hardy's arms and put them on display for people to purchase but this again is like little arm models I wish they could like stand up on their own but they're like little arm models because you can buy his sleeves you know you go to the events I think you can buy Finn Balor sleeves you can buy Jeff Hardy sleeves and uh, this is what I was thinking here is you could buy Jeff Hardy sleeves so Jeff Hardy sleeves are on model there with the little arm mannequin thing with uh, you know with his t-shirt and his towel you know they want to group it all together that way you you know if you're a Jeff Hardy fan you can look in one spot for the Jeff Hardy stuff you ain't got to look all over the damn place so here's the Jeff Hardy section we have all of his merch right here if you want to purchase that coming to the left you guys will see we do have the AJ Styles merch so we have a big AJ Styles house that AJ Styles built or a house that AJ built in the middle with the t-shirt and then to the right and left you will see we have some gloves we have the blue versions right there you know as well as I do I'm sure a bunch of you that watch Watch this video have some some of your own replica AJ gloves and elbow pads slash forearm bands I know they sell the forearm bands with the gloves and the elbow pads so you guys can pick up the blue version at this merchandise stand or you can use the black and green version that we got with the top talents figure and the elite 74 and we come to the back row you guys will see we have some hats on display for purchase we have a couple Stone Cold Steve Austin's hats there with the skull we have a Nikki Bella hat slash Brie Bella hat Bella twins hat whatever the hell you want to call it we also got to use that little mannequin head. I don't know if you guys have ever seen in my videos. I have a little mannequin head and I used it perfectly here with this cane mask. So you can buy a replica cane mask. Obviously not all of these people are, you know, in the, I tried to keep it as, as modern as and as current as possible in the, in the little video here. So I know you can buy Stone Cold merch. I'm not sure if you can buy cane merch anymore, at least at WWE events besides WWE shop. But there's a cane mask and, you know, there's the rest of the stuff we got going on. Coming back here, we do have a little Rey Mysterio cover 
Jobber. We have a Triple H mask. We have an Undertaker hat. And then right here, this is a Fiend mask actually made by a guy named Les Smith who actually scammed a bunch of people out of championship belts. He's the one that makes those metal custom belts that we've seen here on the channel. And I apologize if any of you guys ever ordered from him and he didn't fulfill the order. That is absolute horse shit and it pisses me the hell off. And I, I, I don't want to get off in a tangent, but he uh, made this Fiend mask. But I figured it would go cool in the setup. Even though he scammed a bunch of people, I apologize for that piece. It totally messed up, but I figured why not get good use out of what he sent to me and put it here in the WWE shop merchandise stand. So we have our little replica Fiend mask. I figured put it in the middle because, you know, it'd probably be a best seller. So we have the Fiend mask on display right here. Coming to the left, we have some other knickknacks and ish like that. You got your John Cena hats. You got a couple of those. I didn't want to go too crazy. I probably should have put the blue and orange up there, but since we don't have the blue uh, and red little Super Showdown attire, I figured go ahead and put these in there. Figured just throw an extra John Cena hat in with the lime green and purple one. And so you have his dog tags you can buy. You have an undisputed era armband that you can put in there. I never give up John Cena. You know, they, they always sell the armbands. I didn't want to put John Cena arms up here because that'd be a little weird. I felt the Jeff Hardy ones worked a little better as the little arm mannequin, but you guys can buy his dog tags. Got the Undisputed Era dog tag slash Undisputed Era bicep band right there. You also have a bunch of sunglasses and necklaces. You have Sasha Banks necklace right there. You know, they don't really give us women's t-shirts. You know, a bunch of the women figures don't come with t-shirts. That's why you don't really see them on here. That's why I just have the Brie Bella hat. You can buy the Raw Women's Championship Money in the Bank. But as far as the rest goes, it's kind of difficult to get women's merch up here. But we got a bunch of sunglasses. You got Mustafa Ali's mask. You got Cian Almas' mask. A Miz headband. A Zack Ryder headband. You got a few more glasses there. And then on this side, we did put... I couldn't remember if this was Elias' scarf or Aiden English's scarf, but I'm just going to say that it's Elias's because I feel like he would probably get more merch. And plus, Aiden English is just commentary now, so there's that. And then in the back corner, you got some New Day headbands slash unicorn bands that I know sell like crazy. And then you got a uh, Hulkamania Hulk Hogan bandana. You got the little Triple H mouth cover. I guess you could say it was a shield one too if you wanted to. You have uh, you have Kyrie Sane's little pirate telescope. You have a skull mask, and then you have a couple a couple of replica urns. I know they sell the urns that, uh, you know, like replica Undertaker urns at the event. So there is that. And then for the back wall, guys, we do have some t-shirts going on. We got some Rey Mysterio back there, Undisputed Era. We got Balor Club, The Shield, John Cena, Sami Zayn, and then we have some other replica titles holding up right there. You got the Universal Championship, North American Championship, United States Championship, an RKO shirt, and a Daniel Bryan shirt. Now, the way I made this, guys, it's pretty simple. Okay, first of all, to make the merch, to get any of the merch, um, as far as these hands right here go, I got the, the Fiend mask we covered from last Smith, but the hands right here for AJ Styles, these are just the interchangeable hands that we get with his Elite. So if you guys have the two-pack Elite AJ and Finn, you can take the open palms out of that. You can take the open palms out of his Elite 74 or Top Talents 2019 figure. That will give you that little thing right there. You just pop them out, pop out the wristbands, and they look like gloves. Same thing goes for the elbow pads. Any t-shirts you get from Mattel, you know, any cloth t-shirts you could easily put up here. I guess you could use rubber if you wanted to, but obviously the cloth will work much better. Any hats, John Cena hats, uh, Rey Mysterio masks, Things like that would go perfectly up here. Obviously, the championships are self-explanatory. The cane mask. It's just about going through your accessories, seeing what accessories you have, and then putting them, them together with tables. I have the black tables from Ringside Collectibles. I think they have a bunch over there. If you want to go over to Ringside Collectibles and pick up some black tables, they are the black with the silver legs. You can use promo code MDTOYS. You'll save 10% on that. But basically, just wrap it around right here and then put all the merch on it. And I mean, you, you guys know how we get the belts, how we get the shirts, how we get the masks and stuff. It's just basically a bunch of accessories that we get with our WWE action figures. And then the uh, guy right here is a MDT referee making his debut at Hell's Gate. He'll actually be the head referee for MDT live matches, so that's pretty cool. The headdress and arms we got from the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor, and I'm sure you're wondering where the hell you got this black and red little playset thing. This came from ExtremeSets.com, and uh, all I did was take a little portion that comes with that set. I think it's the original Arena Backstage 2.0 or something. You can go over there and check it out. They have like a whole WWE figure backstage diorama and this is kind of what it looks like. You guys can see it has all the backstage. I've done multiple videos on it, but uh, they make your backstage 
area look very, very realistic and stuff for your action figure shots, photography, or your WWE figure collections if you want to make setups or whatever the hell you want to do. But you take this and uh, it comes in one of those portions and it's just separate from everything else. So what I did is it comes in this one big piece and it folds in half at a 90 degree angle right there as you guys can see. And I basically put some stuff behind it so it'd be sturdy and it would stand up. And then this is the floor. You get the black floor. And it just kind of looked like a WWE event to me because you guys know the little merchandise stands kind of look like this. And so I wanted to do that. And it's pretty pretty easy. I mean, you could add prices. I was going to add prices. I had like my little notebook here. I was going to write out 20 bucks, cut that out with scissors, and then tape it near the items. But I didn't want to spend another two hours doing this. So I just wanted to get this up to you guys and show you guys the little WWE action figure merchandise stand. So if you're doing like action figure matches and maybe you're doing a hardcore match, or a Falls Count Anywhere, they spill out to the backstage. This would make it real, really realistic. I think it'd be really cool to go by and it's like, oh my God, there's effing merch everywhere and then the guys are just destroying everything with merch flying everywhere. I thought that'd be pretty cool, but... I think that is pretty much it. I think I covered every aspect. Obviously, I just taped those shirts to the wall. It looks pretty awful, to be honest with you, but from far away, I guess it doesn't look that bad. And uh, I actually planned on making that WWE Universal title 50% off since it was already, you know, since it's old now. Like, we have the blue and it's not current. I was going to do that, but... Again, uh, ran out of time and stuff, but that is going to do it for the WWE action figure merchandise stand, guys. Had a ton of fun making it. Very easy to do. Not not too crazy. It just kind of popped in my brain. I figured I'd share it with you. I didn't think I'd seen anybody else do this before, so I figured I would go ahead and make this video. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you'd like to see any more tutorial slash stuff like this. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below what you think of the merchandise stand if you guys have ever done this before. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.